Hi, I'm Jeff Morrison. And today we're going to talk about... Oh wait, I can't actually see it because I'm recording on it. Hold on. The Kandao Cute Cam Fun. It's a 4K 360 camera that attaches to your cell phone. Uh, it has a built-in USB-C, so it just clicks right on and then your screen flips upside down, the app opens up, and boom, you have a 360 camera all ready to go. So it's actually faster to connect and use than most 360 cameras, uh, at least if you're using the 360 camera with a mobile app. You're just hitting the button, obviously, that's just as fast. Each lens has behind it a sensor that's capable of 1920 by 1920, and these stitch together for 4K video and uh, still images. There's stabilization built in, which you can see, at least I'm hoping you can see right now, is fairly stabilized as I'm walking around this park. And of course, microphones and everything else, which is how you can hear me. Otherwise, that's kind of it in terms of hardware. There's another USB-C input, which is really for charging, and a power button, but there's no internal memory or anything like that. There's a battery, which they claim will last for about 80 minutes. Really, this is just a quick, inexpensive 360 camera to do things like this, where you're kind of talking to the camera, but then also able to show around you, which is everything like a normal 360 camera can do. What you don't get is waterproof cases, a selfie stick might be a little difficult, but if you have a selfie stick that holds your phone, in theory it should be able to hold this. You just need to flip it upside down. You don't get the higher resolutions of a more expensive 360 camera, but on the other hand, this is far less expensive. Like any 360 camera, the app is at least 50% of the overall performance. And in this case, Kando has done a really good job. It's the same app as the 8K 360 camera that they make. So you can edit photos and videos, which is what I use to put together most of this video. There's also what Kando calls the super vlog mode. That's what you're looking at right now. This is actually kind of, you pre-select what angle you want to see with the camera. In this case, obviously the looking at me and a 16 by nine image. Uh, and then that's, that's all you get. Um, if there's a two minute maximum to this and it saves you on editing time. It's the kind of thing you could create in the app after the fact, but that takes time. If you're just trying to capture a quick moment or something fast, then you just hit this, select what you want, this records, and then the camera will edit this and you can save it, upload it immediately, whatever. Um, basically just like you were using your phone's camera, but a few more options, you could do a tiny planet or whatever. That's fine. It's not something I think most people would use most of the time, but if you did want to capture just a quick moment or a quick tiny planet video, something like that, this would be the way to do it. Having had <clears throat> fun with the fun for a few days, I like it with some caveats. It's very good for the price because it's a lot cheaper than most 360 cameras. In some ways it's easier to use because there's not there's basically no connect time between when you want to use the camera and then opening the app, getting what you want, which most 360 cameras it takes a little while. The resolution is again fine for the price. My issues with the fun are minimal. I kind of like having my 360 camera on a selfie stick and you can do that with this if you have a selfie stick that holds your phone securely, but I'm a lot less comfortable putting my phone plus the fun, which is again is only attached via the USB connection, kind of in places where maybe if it was secured, like if I had a 360 camera that was secured well to a selfie stick, I'd be more willing, like over the edge of a bridge for a cool photo or something like that. Uh, it's just, it's not, I'm just not comfortable with that. My phone is obviously expensive. The camera is not secured super well. Like it's fine if you're holding it, but I wouldn't kind of shake it around somewhere. So that limits you in some ways with what you could shoot compared to a traditional 360 camera. Is that a big deal? Yeah, I mean, to me, but for the price and for what I think a lot of people would use this for, of just kind of quick things or capturing a group or Whatever, uh, I think it actually is fine. It's actually, I don't think it's that big of a deal. 
So in all, it's easy to use and good for the price. Check out the description below and thanks for watching.